Wild Time Cooking with Allison Davis is brought to you by Corman Kitchen and Bath. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. We are talking turkey today. Go, and go. I am with Anthony Critchfield of Critchfield Meats. I'm Chef Allison Davis with Wild Time Cooking over in the Shinaway shops. And it's that time of year. So, um, Anthony, you've got a whole cooked turkey here, which yes. actually you can not only buy your fresh turkeys, and I buy them and we sell them here as well, and we will cook them up for you once they <laughs> run out of orders. Once, once we get cooked up. <laughs> But they will fully cook the turkeys for you as well, herb roasted. But these are the best turkeys. I just love them. They're Amish, young, fresh turkey. And you've been getting this same turkey years. in from the farm for, uh, I would say, 10 to 20, 20 years. 20 so years. Yeah. yeah. So as far always as I can consistent, remember. always great. And then several different sizes, right? So you can go oh, from 10 we, to 12 to 20. I think last year we got some eight pounders in. All the Don't way to what, 24, 28 pounds? 26. Seven or twenty-eight, I yeah, think was the largest one. Yeah, I feel like I got a twenty-eight pounder in there yeah, last year. Yeah. So now we only birds. cook either ten to twelve or eighteen to twenties. Right. But yeah. uh, other than that, we have them offered fresh. We can do breast and your your whole entire Thanksgiving meal. That's, a, that's right. So what we're going to talk about today is you're actually going to carve the turkey. I know a lot we'll of see. people will it might you know, carve me. Get, the, get the turkeys and then they just don't know what to do with it once <laughs> they cook it. So we'll go through the steps of carving. Almost like how you break down a bird, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I mean, of course, you got your wings. I typically always go for my wings mm -hmm. first. I do too. Which you're going to want to go to the back side and you kind of hit it. There's a joint in there. Now, if this is the Thanksgiving turkey, though, and it's hot, it's going to be hard it's to gonna, turn that It's going to be kind of hard to turn, yeah. yeah. So, so you can just go can in go right at that right corner. Right in that corner there, and you got a turkey wing. You always want to find those joints, you it's, know, because you can't really cut through the bone. Notice how he just kind of goes with the same slice, and you just kind yep. of slice through the skin, that cavity there, right. right in between the leg and the breast. And you got to... You can pop it. That's what I do. Pop. I always just kind of pop that knuckle there between the thigh and then you can cut yeah, that. Yeah, see that there? That's your whole leg quarter. You can also, there's a joint, if I can find it, right in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not finding it. There, there we go. It I had so to turn it over. The there way. we go. Now, another thing that you can do, because some people like the dark meat, you can just you start, can, because it's so big, you can slice yeah, it right off the off bone. The, uh, yeah, off the, the, the thigh meat there. Mm -hmm. You see what that looks like. Told you it might carve me. <laughs> yeah, there's some. Yeah, but you can kind of lay some yeah. of the the dark meat out and, and meat. Buy th cut that off. Right. right. And then when you're then cutting through the breast, you want to go right through that middle breastbone. I and I typically pick a side. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. But then you kind of cut it off of that breastbone so you can. And you see just kind of follow yeah. it down. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's. And this one's cooled a little bit. Yeah, I think so it's a little, it's a little easier, easier to slice little when it's warmer. Yeah, I agree with that. And so you just kind of rubbing the back side of the knife up next to that breastbone, which, which is still, right there. Yeah, it's right there. And then you just kind of run that knife down to cut the meat off. And then you and can then just you can slice, just yeah, your white meat and lay it over oh. your platter. Oh. I got some you know, large chunks you and there. I know that everybody at home is thinking oh. the same thing I'm thinking. That little skin, it, it, it's that's your, the best part right there. It is. <laughs> when that's it's crispy a, it, and it's it right out of the it, oven it, it and you burn not, your fingers getting it. It would not it. make it to the plate mm -mm. if it was actually at my house. No. But. And so then you're going to go back on the same side and do the exact same side on the other side. Yep, just the, yep. And then you guys also have turkey gravy. Uh, do you do giblet gravy or just it's, one straight? It's a giblet gravy. It is a giblet gravy? Yes. Great. Yeah. And then um, all the sides, all the fixings, you name it. But today we wanted to talk about turkey. And now you have the trips, tips and tricks to carving Could your done. own turkey at home. Could have done a little better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching Midday Kentucky. I'm Chef Allison Davis. Anthony Critchfield. We'll be right back after a short break.